Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm going to show you guys how to move things into a room. So let's, uh, I'm just starting out a new drawing here. Draw a rectangle with a distance of 15 feet by 30 feet. Enter, extrude it up. Well, change my grid. File, settings, grid, 1000. Okay, so now I'm going to extrude this up. Uh, fit 12 feet, shell it. Go to shade it here, shell. Remove that face, enter. Okay. Shell. Six inch thickness. Okay, so um, so I'm just gonna make a couple of pieces of things that. So, all right. So let's say that this is like a kitchen table, and we got a couple of chairs around it, or whatever. Um, if we want to use it once, we first want to make sure they're all on the same level, um, which I'll pretend like uh, perhaps you don't have yours all on the same level. So let me just uh, ball over the place. Okay, go back to perspective here. So maybe what I would do first is um, move all of these. To so if I go M O V E enter. Click on this, this, and this. Enter, zero, enter. And then move, enter. Click a base point, which will do this corner here. And then go zero, enter. Okay, so that one's on the zero level. And then I'll move this one from this corner to a zero. And I'll do the same with this one. And even though they're stacked on top of each other, it's okay. Move this, all three of them. And again, when you see, when I move things, move, enter, select the objects, move, enter. Then it says point to move from, click out in the middle of nowhere so I don't accidentally snap on all of these different snap points and move it all over in space. And of course, I've got ortho turned on so I can make sure that it's moving straight. Then I'm going to select this extrusion, move it, move it out. Uh, select this extrusion, move it over to the other side. Or maybe I'll just make copies of everything real quick here. So I'll go to this shaded and then I'll mirror from click on the midpoint here that way. And then I'll do the same with both of these here, go that way. So it looks a little bit more like table and chairs. And they're all on the right level, you can tell. Okay, go back to perspective. And if I want to move all of these at once, I'll go uh, first I'm going to select all of them and then type. Let me go this way. And go group. Grouping is like unioning kind of, except for ungroup. So if I click on all, I click on one of them, the whole thing is selected. And then if I type ungroup and click on them, it'll make them separate. But now I want to move the table and chairs into this room. So I'm going to be E, enter. I'm going to move it from this midpoint here to midpoint there. Okay. And then I'm going to do, because the whole goal of that was just to get it on the floor. It's on the floor. So then we go to our top view. I'll put it back into wireframe so I can see through. Select all of them, go M O enter, and with ortho on, I'm going to click out into the void and move it back. If I wanted to move it to the right, I can do that hitting enter to bring up the same command, move it left, that kind of thing. So you do have to only grab it and move it into the room, 
you'll most likely hit, hit a snap and it'll end up on the roof or something. So you don't want that. So let's put it back in the center. Let's do it again. So go back to Perspat with this one here. And so whatever object you're grabbing, you always want to grab it by the bottom. So if there's feet, you grab it to the bottom of the feet. But in this case, there's no feet. So I'm just going to grab it there. Click back to the top view. It's still in wireframe. Nice. M-O-V-E. Enter. Click up here. Click enter. There we go. And then go back to perspective. And we've got our objects moved into the room. And it works the same way if you wanted to put something on a wall, like a cabinet, actually from maybe that corner there, and put it on that midpoint there. Oh, grab it there, and then put it midpoint. And then I'd go to a uh, right view, and it's already there, and the uh, move, enter, Select the object, click in the void, and slide it into place. So, put it back in perspective, and you can see it's on the wall. If you move things into the room, it's a little counterintuitive. You can't just like, oh, I want to grab this and move it right here. Then it ends up, where? Outside the room, you know? So, uh, uh, though, and that kind of thing is uh, kind of an advantage. Another thing you can do, uh, which is... Um, probably going to be helpful is you can use what's called the gumball. So if I click on this gumball, anything has uh, one of these um, gizmos that you can use to move things around if you just click on which axis you want to do. Of course, you can't use the snaps this way, so it's not as precise as the move tool. Um, you can also rotate objects this way, or that's scale, sorry. Um, you can scale. You can you know, scale and change things that way too. Um, and rotate, you click on the rotation. That helps you if you want to rotate. If I click on the green one. And you see if I turn off ortho, I can do it a little bit more freely. So that's the gumball. Uh, it's just not very precise, but um, you know, just tweak things a bit and do it by eye. That's the best way to do it. Okay.